And you shouldn't have. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. This is ready, you know. Do you want to come and have a look, Rob? Yes. I think it's ready. Should we have a cheeky top up again, Grandma Deirdre? <laughs> Deirdre, how comes Carla didn't get one of these table presents? Sorry, love. Yours is something different. Rob, will you get the turkey on the table and watch Eccles? Do you know what, Eccles? I think I'd rather eat you. You like gold, don't you, Carla? Bang on, I like gold, Deirdre. Yes, I do. I like gold. Dad, you said we could drop a present off at Tina. Well, no, she's working. Anyway, you can't go in a pub. Er, uh, you can. You can't go pop it into Tina later, won't you, darling? It's oh, a sugar oh, bowl. Do you like the clay? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh. Don't worry, Tracy. I'll make you one for your birthday. Mm. <laughs> I'll just get your carving knife for all. No, hey, no, I'll carve time. Ooh, handbags. Well, I guess that's what happens when you're number two in the office. You have to be the one holding the big shiny knife. <laughs> Actually, we're equal partners in the office now. <laughs> Since when? Since I opened my present this morning, Tracy. Oh. So go on, Peter. What did you buy, Carla? Bed socks? <laughs> you know, personally, I think the man should be the one that spends the most. I mean, did I mention how much these earrings cost that Rob bought? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Made sure you knew, did he? That's my bro. Can't keep a secret. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Joe, even Ryan said he liked me top when I spoke to him on the computer. Oh, stop going on. <laughs> you couldn't go on enough this morning. You think he developed a superpower? <laughs> I wish I were good at buying presents. He's not. Last year, he asked me if he should buy Michelle nasal hair trimmers. <laughs> He's joking. Stowing, is it? No. Thanks for drawing attention to me, Dandruff. What are you doing here, anyway? I thought you'd be stuffing your gob with turkey. I have this effect on men. You're not going to, um, introduce us? Andrea, from college. This is Lloyd. And this is where you'll always find it. <laughs> Last time I asked him for a reference. He reckons it passes for a sense of humour. Yeah. I'm escaping the family. They think I'm taking the dog out. Where is the dog? Chewing a marrow bone in the shed. Gives me about an hour. I should get off. Dog will have eaten that bone by now. Been gnawing its way out the shed. Well, I hope that shed's got heating. Otherwise, it'll have to wear one of those dodgy Christmas jumpers. Like what Lloyd had on before. Oh, I. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what other colour did you say Michelle's blouse came in? Red. Steve, we're going to get red, weren't you? So who chose green? Oh, is that the time? Let's be off. I'll sort the cab out for you if you want. Ta. Night, Steve. Good luck with the essay. I mean, bye, Michelle. It does look lovely. I, I, I just wanted to get it right, that's all. Mm. So you went shopping with her? For your present, for you. Nothing sinister. No, what's sinister, Steve, is that you kept going on and on about buying it, but you failed to mention that you were with her. It does look nice, though, doesn't it? Well... <laughs> no tongues. That's the rule. Oh, I'm sorry. How did I get dragged into this? It's a tales. What now? Push and roulette. I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't see how I became a candidate. Did we... Deidre wants one of us to kiss her. She's insisted. Tails. Oh, what a shame. Those <laughs> heads. Enjoy. Michelle, the whole blouse thing, I just wanted to get it right, that's all. Come, sir, Deidre. Look at any heads. Yep. I think I owe you a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh,